Serbo-Croatian listen, SRP Skorvatski, Serb Skorvatski also called Serbo-Croat, Serbo-Croat Bosnian SCB, Bosnian-Croatian Serbian BCS, or Bosnian-Croatian Montenegrin Serbian BCMS is a South Slavic language and the primary language of Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Montenegro. It is a pluricentric language with four mutually intelligible standard varieties. South Slavic dialects historically formed a continuum. The turbulent history of the area, particularly due to expansion of the Ottoman Empire, resulted in a patchwork of dialectal and religious differences. Due to population migrations, Stokavian became the most widespread dialect in the Western Balkans, intruding westwards into the area previously occupied by Chakavian and Kaikavian which further blend into Slovenian in the northwest. Bosniaks, Croats and Serbs differ in religion and were historically often part of different cultural circles, although a large part of the nations have lived side by side under foreign overlords. During that period, the language was referred to under a variety of names, such as Slavic, Illyrian, or according to region, Bosnian, Serbian, and Croatian, the latter often in combination with Slavonian or Dalmatian. Serbo-Croatian was standardized in the mid-19th century Vienna Literary Agreement by Croatian and Serbian writers and philologists, decades before a Yugoslav state was established. From the very beginning, there were slightly different literary Serbian and Croatian standards, although both were based on the same Štokavian subdialect, Eastern Herzegovinian. In the 20th century, Serbo-Croatian served as the official language of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia when it was called Serbo-Croato-Slovenian and later as one of the official languages of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. The breakup of Yugoslavia affected language attitudes, so that social conceptions of the language separated on ethnic and political lines. Since the breakup of Yugoslavia, Bosnian has likewise been established as an official standard in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and there is an ongoing movement to codify a separate Montenegrin standard. Serbo-Croatian thus generally goes by the names Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, and sometimes Montenegrin and Bunjevic. Like other South Slavic languages, Serbo-Croatian has a simple phonology, with the common five-vowel system and 25 consonants. Its grammar evolved from common Slavic, with complex inflection, preserving seven grammatical cases in nouns, pronouns, and adjectives. Verbs exhibit imperfective or perfective aspect, with a moderately complex tense system. Serbo-Croatian is a pro-drop language with flexible word order, subject-verb-object being the default. It can be written in Serbian Cyrillic or Gaje's Latin alphabet, whose 30 letters mutually map one to one, and the orthography is highly phonemic in all standards. Topic. Name Throughout the history of the South Slavs, the vernacular, literary, and written languages e.g. Chikavian, Kaikavian, Stokavian of the various regions and ethnicities developed and diverged independently. Prior to the 19th century, they were collectively called Illyric, Slavic, Slavonian, Bosnian, Dalmatian, Serbian, or Croatian. Since the 19th century the term Illyrian or Illyric was used quite often, thus creating confusion with the Illyrian language. Although the word Illyrian was used on a few occasions before, the widespread usage of the term began after Ludevit Gaj and several other prominent linguists met at Ludevit Vukotinovic's house to discuss the issue in 1832. The term Serbo-Croatian was first used by Jacob Grimm in 1824, popularized by the Viennese philologist Jernej Kopitar in the following decades, and accepted by Croatian Zagreb grammarians in 1854 and 1859. At that time, Serb and Croat lands were still part of the Ottoman and Austrian empires. Officially, the language was called variously Serbo-Croat, Croato-Serbian, Serbian and Croatian, Croatian and Serbian, Serbian or Croatian, Croatian or Serbian. And officially, Serbs and Croats typically called the language Serbian or Croatian, respectively, without implying a distinction between the two, and again in independent Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian were considered to be three names of a single official language. 
Croatian linguist Dalibor Brozovic advocated the term Serbo-Croatian as late as 1988, claiming that in an analogy with Indo-European, Serbo-Croatian does not only name the two components of the same language, but simply charts the limits of the region in which it is spoken and includes everything between the limits Bosnian and Montenegrin. Today, use of the term Serbo-Croatian is controversial due to the prejudice that nation and language must match. It is still used for lack of a succinct alternative, though alternative names have emerged, such as Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian BCS, which is often seen in political contexts such as the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. History Early development Old Church Slavonic was adopted as the language of the liturgy. This language was gradually adapted to non-liturgical purposes and became known as the Croatian version of Old Slavonic. The two variants of the language, liturgical and non-liturgical, continued to be a part of the Glagolitic service as late as the middle of the 19th century. The earliest known Croatian Church Slavonic Glagolitic manuscripts are the Glagolita Closianus and the Vienna Folia from the 11th century. The beginning of written Serbo-Croatian can be traced from the 10th century and on when Serbo-Croatian medieval texts were written in five scripts, Latin, Glagolitic, Early Cyrillic, Bosnian Cyrillic Bosankica, Bosanica, and Arabica, the last principally by Bosniak nobility. Serbo-Croatian competed with the more established literary languages of Latin and Old Slavonic in the West and Persian and Arabic in the East. Old Slavonic developed into the Serbo-Croatian variant of Church Slavonic between the 12th and 16th centuries. Among the earliest attestations of Serbo-Croatian are the Humak tablet, dating from the 10th or 11th century, written in Bosnian Cyrillic and Glagolitic, the Ploman tablet, dating from the same era, written in Glagolitic, the Valin tablet, dated to the 11th century, written in Glagolitic and Latin, and the inscription of Zupa Dubrovačka, a Glagolitic tablet dated to the 11th century. The Baska tablet from the late 11th century was written in Glagolitic. It is a large stone tablet found in the small church of St. Lucy, Jaranvor on the Croatian island of Krk that contains text written mostly in Chakavian in the Croatian angular Glagolitic script. It is also important in the history of the nation as it mentions Zvonimir, the king of Croatia at the time. The Charter of Ban Kulin of 1189, written by Ban Kulin of Bosnia, was an early Shtokavian text, written in Bosnian Cyrillic. The luxurious and ornate representative texts of Serbo-Croatian Church Slavonic belong to the later era, when they coexisted with the Serbo-Croatian vernacular literature. The most notable are the Missal of Duke Novak, from the Lika region in northwestern Croatia 1368, Evangel from Rance. 1395, named after the town of its final destination, Hervoye's Missal from Bosnia and Split in Dalmatia 1404, and the first printed book in Serbo-Croatian, the Glagolitic Missale Romanum Glagolitis 1483. .During the 13th century Serbo-Croatian vernacular texts began to appear, the most important among them being the Istrian Land Survey of 1275 and the Vinodal Codex. Of 1288, both written in the Chakavian dialect, the Shtokavian dialect literature, based almost exclusively on Chakavian original texts of religious provenance missals, breviaries, prayer books appeared almost a century later. The most important purely Shtokavian vernacular text is the Vatican Croatian Prayer Book c. 1400. Both the language used in legal texts and that used in Glagolitic literature gradually came under the influence of the vernacular, which considerably affected its phonological, morphological, and lexical systems. From the 14th and the 15th centuries, both secular and religious songs at church festivals were composed in the vernacular. Writers of early Serbo-Croatian religious poetry gradually introduced the vernacular into their works. These Zasinjevci were the forerunners of the rich literary production of the 16th century literature, which, depending on the area, was Chakavian, Kaikavian, or Shtokavian based. The language of religious poems, translations, miracle and morality plays contributed to the popular character of medieval Serbo-Croatian literature. One of the earliest dictionaries, also in the Slavic languages as a whole, was the Bosnian-Turkish Dictionary of 1631 authored by Mohamed Hevaji Yuskufi and was written in the Arabica script. Gallery 
Topic: <laughs> Modern standardization. In the mid 19th century, Serbian, led by self-taught writer and folklorist Vuk Stefanović Karadžić, and most Croatian writers and linguists, represented by the Illyrian movement and led by Ludovic Gaj and Duro Danicic, proposed the use of the most widespread dialect, Štokavian, as the base for their common standard language. Karadžić standardized the Serbian Cyrillic alphabet, and Gaj and Danicic standardized the Croatian Latin alphabet, on the basis of vernacular speech phonemes and the principle of phonological spelling. In 1850 Serbian and Croatian writers and linguists signed the Vienna Literary Agreement, declaring their intention to create a unified standard. Thus a complex bivariant language appeared, which the Serbs officially called Serbo-Croatian, or Serbian or Croatian and the Croats, Croato-Serbian, or Croatian or Serbian. Yet, in practice, the variants of the conceived common literary language served as different literary variants, chiefly differing in lexical inventory and stylistic devices. The common phrase describing this situation was that Serbo-Croatian or Croatian or Serbian was a single language. During the Austro-Hungarian occupation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the language of all three nations was called Bosnian", until the death of Administrator von Calais in 1907, at which point the name was changed to Serbo-Croatian, with unification of the first the Kingdom of the Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, the approach of Karadžić and the Illyrians became dominant. The official language was called Serbo-Croato-Slovenian in the 1921 Constitution. In 1929, the constitution was suspended, and the country was renamed the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, while the official language of Serbo Croato Slovene was reinstated in the 1931 constitution. In June 1941, the Nazi puppet independent state of Croatia began to rid the language of Eastern Serbian words and shut down Serbian schools. On January 15, 1944, the Anti Fascist Council of the People's Liberation of Yugoslavia declared Croatian, Serbian, Slovene, and Macedonian to be equal in the entire territory of Yugoslavia. In 1945, the decision to recognize Croatian and Serbian as separate languages was reversed in favor of a single Serbo Croatian or Croato Serbian language. In the communist-dominated Second Yugoslavia, ethnic issues eased to an extent, but the matter of language remained blurred and unresolved. In 1954, major Serbian and Croatian writers, linguists and literary critics, backed by Matica Srpska and Matica Hrvatska signed the Novi Sad Agreement, which in its first conclusion stated, Serbs, Croats and Montenegrins share a single language with two equal variants that have developed around Zagreb Western and Belgrade Eastern. The agreement insisted on the equal status of Cyrillic and Latin scripts, and of Ekavian and Iakavian pronunciations. It also specified that Serbo-Croatian should be the name of the language in official contexts, while in unofficial use the traditional Serbian and Croatian were to be retained. Matica Hrvatska and Matica Srpska were to work together on a dictionary, and a committee of Serbian and Croatian linguists was asked to prepare a pravopis. During the 60s both books were published simultaneously in Iakavian Latin in Zagreb and Ekavian Cyrillic in Novi Sad. Yet Croatian linguists claim that it was an act of Unitarianism. The evidence supporting this claim is patchy. Croatian linguist Stjepan Babic complained that the television transmission from Belgrade always used the Latin alphabet which was true, but was not proof of unequal rights, but of frequency of use and prestige. Babic further complained that the Novi Sad Dictionary 1967 listed side by side words from both the Croatian and Serbian variants wherever they differed, which one can view as proof of careful respect for both variants, and not of unitarism. Moreover, Croatian linguists criticized those parts of the dictionary for being unitaristic that were written by Croatian linguists. And finally, Croatian linguists ignored the fact that the material for the Pravopizni Rejechnik came from the Croatian Philological Society. Regardless of these facts, Croatian intellectuals brought the declaration on the status and name of the Croatian literary language in 1967. On occasion of the publication's 45th anniversary, the Croatian weekly journal Forum published the declaration again in 2012. Accompanied by a critical analysis, West European scientists judge the Yugoslav language policy as an exemplary one. Although three quarters of the population spoke one language, no single language was official on a federal level. 
Official languages were declared only at the level of constituent republics and provinces, and very generously, Vojvodina had five among them Slovak and Romanian, spoken by 0.5% of the population, and Kosovo four Albanian, Turkish, Romani and Serbo-Croatian. Newspapers, radio and television studios used 16 languages, 14 were used as languages of tuition in schools, and 9 at universities. Only the Yugoslav army used Serbo-Croatian as the sole language of command, with all other languages represented in the army's other activities. However, this is not different from other armies of multilingual states, or in other specific institutions, such as international air traffic control where English is used worldwide. All variants of Serbo-Croatian were used in state administration and republican and federal institutions. Both Serbian and Croatian variants were represented in respectively different grammar books, dictionaries, school textbooks and in books known as pravopis which detail spelling rules. Serbo-Croatian was a kind of soft standardization. However, legal equality could not dampen the prestige Serbo-Croatian had, since it was the language of three-quarters of the population, it functioned as an unofficial lingua franca. And within Serbo-Croatian, the Serbian variant, with twice as many speakers as the Croatian, enjoyed greater prestige, reinforced by the fact that Slovene and Macedonian speakers preferred it to the Croatian variant because their languages are also Ekavian. This is a common situation in other pluricentric languages, e.g. the variants of German differ according to their prestige, the variants of Portuguese too. Moreover, all languages differ in terms of prestige. The fact is that languages in terms of prestige, learnability etc. are not equal, and the law cannot make them equal. In 2017, the Declaration of the Common Language Deklaratia o Zajednikom Jeziku, signed by a group of NGOs and linguists from former Yugoslavia, argues that all variants belong to a common polycentric language. Demographics The total number of persons who declared their native language as either Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian, Montenegrin, or Serbo-Croatian in countries of the region is about 16 million. Serbian is spoken by about 9.5 million, mostly in Serbia 6 .7 meters, Bosnia and Herzegovina 1 .4 meters, and Montenegro 0 .4 meters. Serbian minorities are found in the Republic of Macedonia and in Romania. In Serbia, there are about 760,000 second language speakers of Serbian, including Hungarians in Vojvodina and the 400,000 estimated Roma. Familiarity of Kosovo Albanians with Serbian in Kosovo varies depending on age and education, and exact numbers are not available. Croatian is spoken by roughly 4.8 million, including some 575,000 in Bosnia and Herzegovina. A small Croatian minority that lives in Italy, known as Molise Croats, have somewhat preserved traces of the Croatian language. In Croatia, 170,000, mostly Italians and Hungarians, use it as a second language. Bosnian is spoken by 2.2 million people, chiefly Bosniaks, including about 220,000 in Serbia and Montenegro. The notion of Montenegrin as a separate standard from Serbian is relatively recent. In the 2003 census, around 150,000 Montenegrins, of the country's 620,000, declared Montenegrin as their native language. That figure is likely to increase, due to the country's independence and strong institutional backing of Montenegrin language. Serbo-Croatian is also a second language of many Slovenians and Macedonians, especially those born during the time of Yugoslavia. According to the 2002 census, Serbo-Croatian and its variants have the largest number of speakers of the minority languages in Slovenia. Outside the Balkans, there are over 2 million native speakers of the languages, especially in countries which are frequent targets of immigration, such as Australia, Austria, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Sweden, and the United States. Topic: Grammar. Serbo-Croatian is a highly inflected language. Traditional grammars list seven cases for nouns and adjectives, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, vocative, locative, and instrumental, reflecting the original seven cases of Proto-Slavic, and indeed older forms of Serbo-Croatian itself. However, in modern Stokavian the locative has almost merged into dative the only difference is based on accent in some cases, and the other cases can be shown declining, namely, 
for all nouns and adjectives instrumental topic dative locative at least orthographically in the plural zanama 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 osima 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 regesima 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 there is an accentual difference between the genitive singular and genitive plural of masculine and neuter nouns, which are otherwise homonyms seljaka, seljaka, except that on occasion an a, which might or might not appear in the singular is filled between the last letter of the root and the genitive plural ending capitalizma, capitalizma. The old instrumental ending ju", of the feminine consonant stems and in some cases the a of the genitive plural of certain other sorts of feminine nouns is fast yielding to i, nochi instead of nokju, borbi instead of boraba and so forth. Almost every Stokavian number is indeclinable, and numbers after prepositions have not been declined for a long time. Like most Slavic languages, there are mostly three genders for nouns, masculine, feminine, and neuter, a distinction which is still present even in the plural unlike Russian and, in part, the Kakavian dialect. They also have two numbers, singular and plural. However, some consider there to be three numbers, pakal or dual, two, since still preserved in closely related Slovene after two dva, dvije, dve, three tri and four satiri, and all numbers ending in them e.g. 22, 93, 104 the genitive singular is used, and after all other numbers five pet and up the genitive plural is used, the number one jedin is treated as an adjective, adjectives are placed in front of the noun they modify and must agree in both case and number with it. There are seven tenses for verbs, past, present, future, exact future, aorist, imperfect, and pluperfect, and three moods, indicative, imperative, and conditional. However, the latter three tenses are typically used only in Stokavian writing, and the time sequence of the exact future is more commonly formed through an alternative construction. In addition, like most Slavic languages, the Stokavian verb also has one of two aspects, perfective or imperfective. Most verbs come in pairs, with the perfective verb being created out of the imperfective by adding a prefix or making a stem change. The imperfective aspect typically indicates that the action is unfinished, in progress, or repetitive, while the perfective aspect typically denotes that the action was completed, instantaneous, or of limited duration. Some Stokavian tenses namely, aorist and imperfect favor a particular aspect, but they are rarer or absent in Kakavian and Kaikavian. Actually, aspects compensate for the relative lack of tenses, because aspect of the verb determines whether the act is completed or in progress in the referred time. Topic. Phonology Topic. Vowels The Serbo-Croatian vowel system is simple, with only five vowels in Stokavian. All vowels are monophthongs. The oral vowels are as follows. The vowels can be short or long, but the phonetic quality does not change depending on the length. In a word, vowels can be long in the stressed syllable and the syllables following it, never in the ones preceding it. Topic. Consonants The consonant system is more complicated, and its characteristic features are series of affricate and palatal consonants. As in English, voice is phonemic, but aspiration is not. In consonant clusters all consonants are either voiced or voiceless. All the consonants are voiced if the last consonant is normally voiced or voiceless if the last consonant is normally voiceless. This rule does not apply to approximants. A consonant cluster may contain voiced approximants and voiceless consonants, as well as to foreign words Washington would be transcribed as Vassington, personal names and when consonants are not inside of one syllable. R can be syllabic, playing the role of the syllable nucleus in certain words occasionally, it can even have a long accent. For example, the tongue twister naver berda vrbamrda involves four words with syllabic, R. A similar feature exists in Czech, Slovak, and Macedonian. Very rarely other sonorants can be syllabic, like, L, in bichical, surname starkey, N, unit njutn, as well as per meter, and, in slang. Topic. Pitch accent Apart from Slovene, Serbo-Croatian is the only Slavic language with a pitch accent simple tone system. 
This feature is present in some other Indo-European languages, such as Swedish, Norwegian, and Ancient Greek. Neo-Stokavian Serbo-Croatian, which is used as the basis for standard Bosnian, Croatian, Montenegrin, and Serbian, has four accents, which involve either a rising or falling tone on either long or short vowels, with optional post-tonic lengths. The tone-stressed vowels can be approximated in English with set versus setting, set in isolation for a short tonic e, or leave versus leaving, for a long tonic i, due to the prosody of final stressed syllables in English. General accent rules in the standard language Monosyllabic words may have only a falling tone or no accent at all, enclitics Falling tone may occur only on the first syllable of polysyllabic words Accent can never occur on the last syllable of polysyllabic words, there are no other rules for accent placement, thus the accent of every word must be learned individually. Furthermore, in inflection, accent shifts are common, both in type and position the so-called mobile paradigms. The second rule is not strictly obeyed, especially in borrowed words. Comparative and historical linguistics offer some clues for memorizing the accent position. If one compares many standard Serbo-Croatian words to e.g. cognate Russian words, the accent in the Serbo-Croatian word will be one syllable before the one in the Russian word, with the rising tone. Historically, the rising tone appeared when the place of the accent shifted to the preceding syllable, the so-called Neostokavian retraction. But the quality of this new accent was different, its melody still gravitated towards the original syllable. Most Stokavian dialects, Neo Stokavian dialects underwent this shift, but Chakavian, Kaikavian and the Old Stokavian dialects did not. Accent diacritics are not used in the ordinary orthography, but only in the linguistic or language learning literature e.g. dictionaries, orthography and grammar books. However, there are very few minimal pairs where an error in accent can lead to misunderstanding. Topic: <inaudible> Orthography. Serbo-Croatian orthography is almost entirely phonetic. Thus, most words should be spelled as they are pronounced. In practice, the writing system does not take into account allophones which occur as a result of interaction between words. Bitsi, pronounced bice and only written separately in Bosnian and Croatian. Od toga, pronounced otoga in many vernaculars. Ischega, pronounced ischega in many vernaculars. Also, there are some exceptions, mostly applied to foreign words and compounds, that favor morphological, etymological over phonetic spelling. Postdiplomski, postgraduate, pronounced postdiplomski. Own systemic exception is that the consonant clusters d s and d's do not change into t s and t's, although d tends to be unvoiced in normal speech in such clusters. Predstava, show. Odsteta, damages. Only a few words are intentionally misspelled, mostly in order to resolve ambiguity. Sestu, six hundred, pronounced sesto, to avoid confusion with sesto, sixth. PRSTNI adj, finger, pronounced PRSNI to avoid confusion with PRSNI adj, chest. Topic. Writing systems Through history, this language has been written in a number of writing systems Glagolitic alphabet, chiefly in Croatia. Arabic alphabet, mostly in Bosnia. Cyrillic script Various modifications of the Latin and Greek alphabets, the oldest texts since the 11th century are in Glagolitic, and the oldest preserved text written completely in the Latin alphabet is, Red I Zakon Sestera Reda Svetig Dominica, from 1345. The Arabic alphabet had been used by Bosniaks, Greek writing is out of use there, and Arabic and Glagolitic persisted so far partly in religious liturgies. Today, it is written in both the Latin and Cyrillic scripts. Serbian and Bosnian variants use both alphabets, while Croatian uses the Latin only. Latin script has become more and more popular in Serbia, as it is easy to input on phones and computers. The Serbian Cyrillic alphabet was revised by Vuk Stefanovic Karadžić in the 19th century. The Croatian Latin alphabet Gajica followed suit shortly afterwards, when Ludevit Gaj defined it as standard Latin with five extra letters that had diacritics, apparently borrowing much from Czech, but also from Polish, and inventing the unique digraphs LJ, NJ, and Ds. These digraphs are represented as 
L, N and G", respectively in the Rejechnik Hrvatskog ilisrp skog jizika", published by the former Yugoslav Academy of Sciences and Arts in Zagreb. The latter digraphs, however, are unused in the literary standard of the language. All in all, this makes Serbo-Croatian the only Slavic language to officially use both the Latin and Cyrillic scripts, albeit the Latin version is more commonly used. In both cases, spelling is phonetic and spellings in the two alphabets map to each other one to one. Latin to Cyrillic Cyrillic to Latin The digraphs LJ, NJ and Ds represent distinct phonemes and are considered to be single letters. In crosswords, they are put into a single square, and in sorting, LJ follows L and NJ follows N, except in a few words where the individual letters are pronounced separately. For instance, Nadziv J -E -T -I, to outlive, is composed of the prefix nad, out, over, and the verb ziv J -E -T -I, to live. The Cyrillic alphabet avoids such ambiguity by providing a single letter for each phoneme. D used to be commonly written as DJ on typewriters, but that practice led to too many ambiguities. It is also used on car license plates. Today DJ is often used again in place of D on the internet as a replacement due to the lack of installed Serbo-Croat keyboard layouts. Unicode has separate characters for the digraphs LJ, NJ, and Ds. Topic. Dialects. See also South Slavic dialect continuum South Slavic historically formed a dialect continuum i.e. each dialect has some similarities with the neighboring one and differences grow with distance However migrations from the 16th to 18th centuries resulting from the spread of Ottoman Empire on the Balkans have caused large scale population displacement that broke the dialect continuum into many geographical pockets Migrations in the 20th century, primarily caused by urbanization and wars, also contributed to the reduction of dialectal differences. The primary dialects are named after the most common question word for what, Stokavian uses the pronoun sto or sta, Chakavian uses ka or ca, Kaikavian, Kaikovsky, Kai or Kej. In native terminology they are referred to as nar, j, ekj, which would be equivalent of group of dialects. Whereas their many subdialects are referred to as diawekti dialects or gavori speeches. The pluricentric Serbo-Croatian standard language and all four contemporary standard variants are based on the Eastern Herzegovinian subdialect of Neo-Stokavian. Other dialects are not taught in schools or used by the state media. The Torlakian dialect is often added to the list, though sources usually note that it is a transitional dialect between Stokavian and the Bulgaro-Macedonian dialects. The Serbo-Croatian dialects differ not only in the question word they are named after, but also heavily in phonology, accentuation and intonation, case endings and tense system morphology, and basic vocabulary. In the past, Chakavian and Kaikavian dialects were spoken on a much larger territory, but have been replaced by Stokavian during the period of migrations caused by Ottoman Turkish conquest of the Balkans in the 15th and the 16th centuries. These migrations caused the koineization of the Stokavian dialects, that used to form the West Stokavian more closer and transitional towards the neighboring Chakavian and Kaikavian dialects and East Stokavian transitional towards the Torlakian and the whole Bulgaro-Macedonian area dialect bundles, and their subsequent spread at the expense of Chakavian and Kaikavian. As a result, Stokavian now covers an area larger than all the other dialects combined, and continues to make its progress in the enclaves where non literary dialects are still being spoken. The differences among the dialects can be illustrated on the example of Schleicher's fable. Diacritic signs are used to show the difference in accents and prosody, which are often quite significant, but which are not reflected in the usual orthography. Topic. Division by jot reflex A basic distinction among the dialects is in the reflex of the long common Slavic vowel jot, usually transcribed as asterisk e. Depending on the reflex, the dialects are divided into ikavian, ekavian, and iekavian, with the reflex of jot being i, e, and ije, or j, respectively. The long and short jot is reflected as long or short asterisk i, and e, in ikavian and ekavian, but iekavian dialects introduce a ije, j alternation to retain a distinction. 
Standard Croatian and Bosnian are based on Iekavian, whereas Serbian uses both Ekavian and Iekavian forms Iekavian for Bosnian Serbs, Ekavian for most of Serbia. Influence of standard language through state media and education has caused non-standard varieties to lose ground to the literary forms. The jot reflex rules are not without exception. For example, when short jot is preceded by r, in most Iekavian dialects developed into re, or, occasionally, re. The prefix pre trans over when long became pre in Eastern Iekavian dialects, but to pre j in Western dialects. In Iekavian pronunciation, it also evolved into pre or pre j due to potential ambiguity with pri approach come close to. For verbs that had et in their infinitive, the past participle ending l evolved into io in Iekavian Neostokavian. The following are some examples. Topic. Present sociolinguistic situation Topic. Comparison with other pluricentric languages Enisa Kafadar argues that there is only one Serbo-Croatian language with several varieties. This has made it possible to include all four varieties in a new grammar book. Daniel Bunchik concludes that it is a pluricentric language, with four standard variants spoken in Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina. The mutual intelligibility between their speakers "...exceeds that between the standard variants of English, French, German, or Spanish." Other linguists have argued that the differences between the variants of Serbo-Croatian are less significant than those between the variants of English, German, Dutch, and Hindi-Urdu. Among pluricentric languages, Serbo-Croatian was the only one with a pluricentric standardization within one state. The dissolution of Yugoslavia has made Serbo-Croatian even more of a typical pluricentric language, since the variants of other pluricentric languages are also spoken in different states. Topic Contemporary names The current Serbian constitution of 2006 refers to the official language as Serbian, while the Montenegrin constitution of 2007 proclaimed Montenegrin as the primary official language, but also grants other languages the right of official use. Most Bosniaks refer to their language as Bosnian. Most Croats refer to their language as Croatian. Most Serbs refer to their language as Serbian. Montenegrins refer to their language either as Serbian or Montenegrin. Ethnic Bunjevci refer to their language as Bunjevic. The International Organization for Standardization (ISO) has specified different universal decimal classification (UDC) numbers for Croatian (UDC 862, abbreviation hour) and Serbian (UDC 861, abbreviation senior). While the cover term Serbo-Croatian is used to refer to the combination of original signs (UDC 861-860 seconds, abbreviation shish). Furthermore, the ISO 639 standard designates the Bosnian language with the abbreviations BOS and BS. The International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia considers what it calls BCS Bosnian -Croatian -Serbian to be the main language of all Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian defendants. The indictments, documents, and verdicts of the ICTY are not written with any regard for consistently following the grammatical prescriptions of any of the three standards, be they Serbian, Croatian, or Bosnian. For utilitarian purposes, the Serbo-Croatian language is often called Nas Jezik, our language, or Naski, Sik, Ourish, or Orian, by native speakers. This politically correct term is frequently used to describe the Serbo-Croatian language by those who wish to avoid nationalistic and linguistic discussions. Topic: <laughs> Views of linguists in the former Yugoslavia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Serbian linguists. The majority of mainstream Serbian linguists consider Serbian and Croatian to be one language, that is called Serbo-Croatian or Croato-Serbian A minority of Serbian linguists are of the opinion that Serbo-Croatian did exist, but has, in the meantime, dissolved. <laughs> Croatian linguists 
The opinion of the majority of Croatian linguists is that there has never been a Serbo-Croatian language, but two different standard languages that overlapped sometime in the course of history. However, Croatian linguists Nizana Kordic has been leading an academic discussion on this issue in the Croatian journal Konjezevna Republika from 2001 to 2010. In the discussion, she shows that linguistic criteria such as mutual intelligibility, the huge overlap in the linguistic system, and the same dialect basis of the standard language are evidence that Croatian, Serbian, Bosnian and Montenegrin are four national variants of the pluricentric Serbo-Croatian language. Igor Mandic states. During the last ten years, it has been the longest, the most serious and most acrid discussion, in 21st century Croatian culture. Inspired by that discussion, a monograph on language and nationalism has been published. The view of the majority of Croatian linguists that there is no single Serbo Croatian language but several different standard languages has been sharply criticized by German linguist Bernhard Groschel in his monograph Serbo Croatian Between Linguistics and Politics. A more detailed overview, incorporating arguments from Croatian philology and contemporary linguistics, would be as follows Serbo Croatian is a language. One still finds many references to Serbo-Croatian, and proponents of Serbo-Croatian who deny that Croats, Serbs, Bosniaks and Montenegrins speak different languages. The usual argument generally goes along the following lines. Standard Croatian, Serbian, Bosnian, and Montenegrin are completely mutually intelligible. In addition, they use two alphabets that perfectly match each other, Latin and Cyrillic, thanks to Ludevit Gaj and Vuk Karadžić. Croats exclusively use Latin script and Serbs equally use both Cyrillic and Latin. Although Cyrillic is taught in Bosnia, most Bosnians, especially non-Serbs Bosniaks and Croats, favor Latin. The list of 100 words of the basic Croatian, Serbian, Bosnian, and Montenegrin vocabulary, as set out by Mora Swadish, shows that all 100 words are identical. According to Swadish, 81% are sufficient to be considered as a single language. Typologically and structurally, these standard variants have virtually the same grammar, i.e. morphology and syntax. The Serbo-Croatian language was standardized in the mid-19th century, and all subsequent attempts to dissolve its basic unity have not succeeded. The affirmation of distinct Croatian, Serbian, Bosnian, and Montenegrin languages is politically motivated. According to phonology, morphology and syntax, these standard variants are essentially one language because they are based on the same, Stokavian dialect. Serbo-Croatian is not a language. Similar arguments are made for other official standards which are drawn from identical or nearly identical material bases and which therefore constitute pluricentric languages, such as Malaysian, Malaysian Malay, and Indonesian together called Malay, or standard Hindi and Urdu together called Hindustani or Hindi Urdu. However, some argue that these arguments have flaws. Phonology, morphology, and syntax are not the only dimensions of a language. Other fields, semantics, pragmatics, stylistics, lexicology, etc., also differ slightly. However, it is the case with other pluricentric languages. A comparison is made to the closely related North Germanic languages or dialects, if one prefers, though these are not fully mutually intelligible as the Serbo-Croatian standards are. A closer comparison may be general American and received pronunciation in English, which are closer to each other than the latter is to other dialects which are subsumed under British English. Since the Croatian language is recorded in Jik and Gundelik's works 16th and 17th centuries is virtually the same as the contemporary standard Croatian understandable archaisms apart, it is evident that the 19th century formal standardization was just the final touch in the process that, as far as the Croatian language is concerned, had lasted more than three centuries. The radical break with the past, characteristic of modern Serbian whose vernacular was likely not as similar to Croatian as it is today, is a trait completely at variance with Croatian linguistic history. In short, formal standardization processes for Croatian and Serbian had coincided chronologically and, one could add, ideologically, but they haven't produced a unified standard language. Gundelik did not write in Serbo-Croatian, nor did August Sanoa. Marko Marulic and Marin Jik wrote in a sophisticated idiom of the Croatian language some 300 to 350 years before, Serbo-Croatian ideology appeared. Marulic explicitly called his Kkavian written Judita as Uurish Haruachi Slasina, arranged in Croatian stanzas, 
in 1501, and the Stokavian Grammar and Dictionary of Bartle Kasich written in 1604 unambiguously identifies the ethnonyms Slavic and Illyrian with Croatian. The linguistic debate in this region is more about politics than about linguistics per se. The topic of language for writers from Dalmatia and Dubrovnik prior to the 19th century made a distinction only between speakers of Italian or Slavic, since those were the two main groups that inhabited Dalmatian city states at that time. Whether someone spoke Croatian or Serbian was not an important distinction then, as the two languages were not distinguished by most speakers. This has been used as an argument to state that Croatian literature Croatian per se, but also includes Serbian and other languages that are part of Serbo-Croatian. These facts undermine the Croatian language proponents' argument that modern-day Croatian is based on a language called Old Croatian. However, most intellectuals and writers from Dalmatia who used the Stokavian dialect and practiced the Catholic faith saw themselves as part of a Croatian nation as far back as the mid-16th to 17th centuries, some 300 years before Serbo-Croatian ideology appeared. Their loyalty was first and foremost to Catholic Christendom, but when they professed an ethnic identity, they referred to themselves as Slavin and Illyrian a sort of forerunner of Catholic Baroque pan-slavism and Croat, these thirty-odd writers over the span of c. 350 years always saw themselves as Croats first and never as part of a Serbian nation. It should also be noted that, in the pre-national era, Catholic religious orientation did not necessarily equate with Croat ethnic identity in Dalmatia. A Croatian follower of VUK Karadžić, Ivan Broz, noted that for a Dalmatian to identify oneself as a Serb was seen as foreign as identifying oneself as Macedonian or Greek. Vatroslav Jajic pointed out in 1864, As I have mentioned in the preface, history knows only two national names in these parts—Croatian and Serbian. As far as Dubrovnik is concerned, the Serbian name was never in use, on the contrary, the Croatian name was frequently used and gladly referred to. At the end of the 15th century in Dubrovnik and Dalmatia, sermons and poems were exquisitely crafted in the Croatian language by those men whose names are widely renowned by deep learning and piety. From the History of the Croatian Language, Zagreb, 1864, on the other hand, the opinion of Jajic from 1864 is argued not to have firm grounds. When Jajic says, Croatian, he refers to a few cases referring to the Dubrovnik vernacular as Illyrsky Illyrian. This was a common name for all Slavic vernaculars in Dalmatian cities among the Roman inhabitants. In the meantime, other written monuments are found that mention Srpski, lingua serviana equals Serbian, and some that mention Croatian. By far the most competent Serbian scientist on the Dubrovnik language issue, Milan Resider, who was born in Dubrovnik himself, wrote behalf of language characteristics. The one who thinks that Croatian and Serbian are two separate languages must confess that Dubrovnik always linguistically used to be Serbian. Finally, the former medieval texts from Dubrovnik and Montenegro dating before the 16th century were neither true Stokavian nor Serbian, but mostly specific a Jekavian Kakavian that was nearer to actual Adriatic islanders in Croatia. <laughs> Political connotations Nationalists have conflicting views about the languages. The nationalists among the Croats conflictingly claim either that they speak an entirely separate language from Serbs and Bosniaks or that these two peoples have, due to the longer lexicographic tradition among Croats, somehow borrowed their standard languages from them. Bosniak nationalists claim that both Croats and Serbs have appropriated the Bosnian language, since Ludevit Gaj and Vuk Karadžić preferred the Neostokavian Iekavian dialect, widely spoken in Bosnia and Herzegovina, as the basis for language standardization, whereas the nationalists among the Serbs claim either that any divergence in the language is artificial, or claim that the Stokavian dialect is theirs and the Kakavian Croats in more extreme formulations, Croats have taken or stolen. Their language from the Serbs, proponents of unity among southern Slavs claim that there is a single language with normal dialectal variations. The term, Serbo-Croatian, or synonyms, is not officially used in any of the successor countries of former Yugoslavia. In Serbia, the Serbian standard has an official status countrywide, while both Serbian and Croatian are official in the province of Vojvodina. 
A large Bosniak minority is present in the southwest region of Sanzik, but the official recognition of Bosnian language is moot. Bosnian is an optional course in first and second grade of the elementary school, while it is also in official use in the municipality of Novi Pazar. However, its nomenclature is controversial, as there is incentive that it is referred to as Bosniak Bosniatsky, rather than Bosnian Basanski see Bosnian language hashtag controversy and recognition for details. Croatian is the official language of Croatia, while Serbian is also official in municipalities with significant Serb population. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, all three standard languages are recorded as official but in practice and media, mostly Bosnian and Serbian are applied. Confrontations have on occasion been absurd. The academic Mohamed Filipovic, in an interview to Slovenian television, told of a local court in a Croatian district requesting a paid translator to translate from Bosnian to Croatian before the trial could proceed. Topic words of Serbo-Croatian origin See category, English terms derived from Serbo-Croatian on Wiktionary Kravat, from French cravate Croat, by analogy with Flemish Kravat and German Kravate, from Serbo-Croatian Hervat, as Kravats were characteristic of Croatian dress Polj, from Serbo-Croatian Polj field Slivovitz, from German Slivovitz, from Bulgarian Slivovica or Serbo-Croatian Slivovica plum brandy, from Old Slavic asterisk Sliva plum cognate with English slow Tamborica, Serbo-Croatian Dominion of tambora, from Turkish, from Persian tambor tanbur, uvala, from Serbo-Croatian uvala hollow. Topic See also Comparison of standard Bosnian, Croatian, Montenegrin and Serbian language Secessionism in Serbo-Croatian Serbo-Croatian relative clauses Serbo-Croatian kinship Topic Notes and references Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Topic Further reading Alexander, R. 2006. Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian, a grammar, with sociolinguistic commentary. Univ of Wisconsin Press. Banak, Evo, Main Trends in the Croatian Language Question. Yale University Press, 1984. Franolik, Branko, A Historical Survey of Literary Croatian. Nouvelles Editions Latines, Paris, 1984. 1988. Language Policy in Yugoslavia with Special Reference to Croatian. Paris, Nouvelles Editions Latines. Zagar, Mateo. 2008. A Historical Outline of Literary Croatian and the Glagolitic Heritage of Croatian Culture. London and Zagreb, Erasmus and CSYPN. ISBN 978-953-6132-80-5. Ivic, Pavla, Die Serbokrotischen Dialekta, The Hague, 1958. Jacobson, Per. 2008. O structural no linguisticum constantama srp skorvatskog jizika inventar phonema i phonotactica structura serbo-croatian structural linguistic constants inventory of phonemes and phonotactic structure. In Ostajak, Bronislav. Jizika situasiha u kernoj gori, norma i standardizacija in serbo-croatian. Podgorica, Cernogorska akademija naka i umjetnosti. pp. 25-34. ISBN 978-86-7215-207-4, COBISSCG. Christofsson, Jürgen Vom Widersen der Dialektologie, Gedanken zum Stokovischen Dialectological Nonsense, Thoughts on Stokavian. Zeitschrift für Balkanologie in German. 36 178-186. ISSN 0044-2356. ZDBID 201058-6. Magner, Thomas F., Zagreb Kaikavian Dialect. Pennsylvania State University, 1966. 1991. Introduction to the Croatian and Serbian Language Revised ed. Pennsylvania State University. Merck, Henning 2008. Nika Pragmaticna Zapazanja o Postojanju Srp Skorvatskog Jizika. In Ostajak, Bronislav. Jazika situasiha u kernoj gori, norma i standardizacija in Serbo-Croatian. Podgorica, Cernogorska akademija naka i umjetnosti. pp. 295-299. ISBN 978-86-7215-207-4, COBISSCG. Murray Dispalatovic, Eleanor, Ludevit Gaj and the Illyrian Movement. Columbia University Press, 1975. Zekovic, Sreten and Samesa, Boro, Elementa Montenegrina, Crestormatia 190th. CIP, Zagreb 1991. 
Spaladin, C. 1966. Serbo-Croatian or Serbian and Croatian, Considerations on the Croatian Declaration and Serbian Proposal of March 1967. Journal of Croatian Studies, 7, pp.3-13. Franolic, B. 1983. The Development of Literary Croatian and Serbian. Busk Verlag. Bunchik, D. 2016. Serbo-Croatian, Serbian, Cyrillic and Latin. Bescriptality, a sociolinguistic typology, pp.231-246. External links Ethnologue 15th edition of the Ethnologue release 2005 shows changes in this area, previous Ethnologue entry for Serbo-Croatian Ethnologue 15th edition report on Western South Slavic languages. Integral text of Novi Sad Agreement in Serbo-Croatian. Serbian and Croatian alphabets at Omniglot. Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, or Montenegrin? Or just Our Language, Radio Free Europe, February 21, 2009. Brown, Wales, Alt, Teresa, 2004, A Handbook of Bosnian, Serbian, and Croatian PDF, SEELRC.